Hey guys, this is Chesney Hawks here. You are watching My Hammers 11 with the one and only Russ. Hi everybody, Russ of My Hammers 11. Hope you are all safe and well for your channel. Please consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon and uh, make sure you hit anyone who actually I haven't got my finger on that. I mean, just make sure you hit the bell icon and don't forget our channel sponsor. Where are my channel sponsors gone? Well, this is, this is, there we go. Channel sponsor, that's better. Untuck it. God <laughs> dear, check them out in the description below, Gav. What's going on? What is going on? <laughs> I've got an ex, I've got another ex player. Uh, we've had over 70, but this guy's special. Because this guy, he only, he only made one first team appearance, but I was there. I was there. We'll talk <laughs> about that. It's Big Gav. How are we doing, man? I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Russ. Absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for taking the time. And I know work's uh, a bit busy at the moment for you at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've I've been going nonstop, actually, just since like the beginning of April. It's just picked up a lot. So I'm actually just trying to keep up. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. And what, yeah. what do you think? Just because it's like everything can open now and people can 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 do stuff. That's why you just so so busy at the well, moment. Yeah, I think I think there's like um, a little bit more kind of I don't know confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get people that. to kind of get together a bit more and and of course now that the weather's changing and yeah, people are a bit tired of the. The old same old same old so i guess it's working out like that yeah it's good, yeah. Man. And, yeah and apart and apart from obviously the last month we've been manic how have you been in sort of this weird new world we live in i've had a great time <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had a great time i've been able to just rest and yeah um, just like kind of reevaluate where i'm heading and what i'm mm. doing and why i'm doing it and who i'm doing it with um it's been amazing actually um I'm, and now i'm kind of like okay i'm good to go again yeah so that's good refreshed and replenished and off you go man yeah that's good and do you know what that's really refreshing to hear someone actually say it's actually been quite good you know because a lot of people uh, yeah and for a lot of people I mean, I'm, I'm the same as you man i think well and that, my daughter's eight and she's breezed for it to be honest she's proper yeah. breezed for it. do you know what i mean and it's like yeah. I, I mean i've i've loved it i've loved the fact i haven't had to get up for work at <laughs> half six and get on a train for an hour and a bit and go you know so that's that's great and obviously yeah. doing this stuff as well i mean in my, in my spare time it's been great as well and yeah. obviously a lot of people it's been very hard but it's refreshing to see some people who have taking the time to reevaluate themselves and now you're yeah. ready to roll fully refreshed and ready to go man 100 percent, yeah no it's been great i released like a single in march so that kind of got my appetite going again because yeah. i haven't released much music for a while so now i'm just getting ready to um start thinking about some visuals and doing a, another follow-up track so it's been really good cool Oh, that's wicked, man. That's wicked. For those for those of you who don't know, Gavin, I just want to introduce you. Just talk about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Because I know you very well. Because as I said, um, so so Gavin, um, he, do you know, you know, you talk about kids. You know, you had a real. You know, I hate the expression "Roy of the Rovers," but it was a bit like that for you, to be honest, man. You know, at Kingstonian, uh, well, you wasn't before that. He was at uh, uh, Walton, weren't you? Walton before then, wasn't it? Yeah, Walton and Hersham. Yeah, Walton Hersham. Then you went to Kingstonian, and then like West Ham buyer. So from Conference to Premier League. Yeah. Um. WTF? How did how did that happen, man? Ah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I remember like coming on a, as a sub in um, in a, quite a lot of games at Kingstonians. Yeah, and um, it would just so happen that when I'd come on, we'd either draw the game we should have lost or won the game we should have drawn. Yeah, yeah. or something would you know happen and people would be like, "Wow, that was amazing when you came on." The yeah. game changed. So I think that kind of um got a lot of people interested and and of course um uh with non-league clubs a lot of the time that's a, a big part of the um the kind of stepping stone to getting on to bigger course, clubs yeah but i think um i think jeff chapel and harry redknapp were actually quite good friends if i'm not mm. mistaken so i think that was the connection there but i think yeah there was quite a lot of teams looking at me 
Yeah, because I think when you because I read it somewhere, I think it was on your I think it was on your Wikipedia that when you was at Walton, something like eighteen of the twenty Premier League clubs were looking at you or something like that. He says it on your Wikipedia, so it must be true. It must really? be true, Gavin. Yeah. So obviously you don't even know I how didn't many clubs know that. You. <laughs> I should have stayed at Walton. <laughs> yeah, you should have stayed there, man. You're doing all right then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what he said. That's what he said, apparently. Wow. So, you know, and that's from a book. So there we go. It's not only is it on Wikipedia, it's been cited from a book. So that's, I mean, you know, as you said, right. they're Kingstonian. And then, you know, as you said, Jeff, Jeff and Harry, I'll, I'll text Harry. I'll ask him about him and I'll be interested. Um, but, when you when when you when you figured out when someone said, "Oh, we at West Ham are going to buy her," yeah, how, uh, your jaw must have hit the floor. It was a lot to take in. I mean, I can imagine we're, we're talking a long time ago as well. But um, yeah. at the time, I was just like, I was just really in, engrossed in playing football and enjoying the game and doing my best to excel in every competition I was in or match. So. Um, yeah, when, when it was like West Ham, I thought, okay, okay, that's Premiership. Okay, okay, great, okay. <laughs> I was kind of like, okay, so, right, okay, so I'm pro, I'm going to be pro, okay. Of course, yeah, but, of um, course, yeah. Yeah, it, it was so quick. And then and, and I had to go to Barbados to, to celebrate my, my nan's 50th anniversary, my granddad, my, my grandparents yeah married for 50 years and that was already booked so it was kind of like go there spend a week and a half two weeks there and then come straight back to training wow <laughs> which was yeah it was a bit of a weird one yeah oh i can yeah. imagine i can imagine and also you know you come into a you know and as i said that that period of west ham was it was i mean it's just in time it's the basis of time i enjoyed the most i think under harry it was quite exciting and lots of and i said some of like yourself you know coming from non-league being thrusted into the premier league premier league set up with the training and also the players the, the, the players you were playing with man a lot of them you know you've put your heroes and stuff as well yeah yeah i mean ian wright yeah you know, massive hero of mine um you know coming into the dressing room meeting people like neil ruddock who yeah. was at liverpool who i was a fan of actually when i was growing up i was a liverpool supporter yeah so yeah it was like bizarre it was surreal i had no preparation i had no sort of no. like heads up it was just like okay i'm here i'm i'm doing it here wow yeah okay yeah big culture shock I can shock imagine. to the system yeah i can imagine it's totally yeah it's totally out of your comfort zone as well as you said you know you're playing non like non-league and then you're in you said, you've got your heroes and ironically the game you ended up coming on was against liverpool at yeah. anfield as a as a you know as a you know, we take the west ham half as a liverpool fan as an old boyhood liverpool fan that was must have been fucking awesome to be honest yeah i i actually wasn't a liverpool fan at that point oh, okay but <laughs> You were, so it was all right. No, I was, yeah. But at that point, like, I was kind of like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, go we're gonna, I'm gonna beat these guys. I'm gonna, we're gonna win this game. I'm gonna yeah. score. <laughs> Which you know, obviously, if I wasn't at West Ham, I'd be, I'd be feeling the same as, you know, at any other club. Of course. I'd, once you once you're involved in a in a club, you take on that energy. Yeah, you know. And, so and I did, just, I didn't think, oh, I'm I'm playing against. I was like, no, nah. yeah, we've got to win this game. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. I totally get that, man. I totally understand yeah. that. And as I said, you know, from being as you said, from playing from you know two years ago playing at Walton, you know, or not even that year and a half, basically from Walton. Now you're playing Premier League. I mean, you know, some people like obviously. You know, in the current game, people like Vardy and Antonio, they've worked their way up over several years. You did, did it in one hit, man. You did it in one hit. Yeah. And it's like, and everyone, and you know, and I know it was only one appearance, but to be honest, that's, that's one more appearance than millions of people around the world who would die True. to have done that um, for True. you. And and as I said, I was there. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, it was my first away trip ever to <laughs> Liverpool. And, you know, yeah. I remember that game so much. I remember you coming on. I was like, 
oh go on go on gav because it was like you know he's a young <laughs> lad coming through and you know i had some couple of piss blokes next to me i remember it so vividly really? um <laughs> like it was yesterday it's funny isn't it some and it's yeah. just that takes you back man um yeah. and yeah. And as you said, you know, you you did it. You know, you got in the Premier yeah. League. I know it was the only one game, but it was it was the Premier League, man. Yeah, it was yeah, it. Hundred percent. Yeah, I've still got the shirt. Have you? I've I can imagine. It's in my studio. I can, I can totally imagine. Yeah, yeah. And as you said, you know, you came. I think you came on for Joe as well, didn't it? So you know, yeah. you had like Joe Cole, and there was Rio, there was Trev, there was some, you know, some great players. You said great about player. Razor and Wrighty and geez and just just even being around them every day as well you must have i don't know you just it, it just been for me my head would have been blown every day going into training considering yeah. where you were to where you are now yeah it was blown every day yeah and i was having to pinch myself quite a lot for a long time yeah yeah, yeah. and then and then obviously yeah then then it's obviously you know we it sort of didn't didn't really go anywhere did it really i yeah. think you know it was yeah. i think there was I think you know there was too many. To be honest, I think there was too many people in front of you, Gav. You know, to be honest, wasn't it? There was yeah. there was the righties and stuff like that. But you know, then you're still in and around for a couple of years as well. There, so you know, training and, and stuff like that, and obviously yeah. reserve games and stuff. And there's still there were still you know lots of lots of memories and lots of uh, I can imagine with them lot. And we've had a few of them lot on. We've had we've had Razor, we've had Trev, we've had a few of them. You know, they've all, you know, a few nights out, a few stories and all that. Yeah, I'm sure you probably got involved in a few of them as well. Actually, no, I didn't. No? Are you a good not, boy? Not really, yeah, yeah. I kept myself to myself. <laughs> I kept it simple. <laughs> good man. Good man. Take you with that razor. He's a nutter. Yeah, yeah. He, I used to hear the stories on Monday. Yes. Good you boy. I mean? Yeah. That's it, man. Yeah. You're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then yeah. obviously, then obviously, then then you, then you, the, when it came to when it came to leaving, you know, obviously you went to, uh, you, you left, and then you went to, you, I think you went, you went on loan at Orient for a bit, and actually went back to Kingstonian, didn't you? Um, and then and then you were released. How that must have been horrible. Must have been horrible to be released. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it wasn't the nicest no. experience to go through. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's. I guess it's one of the the realities of of life and the yeah. game. Yeah. Uh, but um, I knew it wasn't the last chapter, so to speak. Yeah. At that time, I was just waiting for the right opportunity in the opening. In yeah, the, and, and it's, it, it went to know. Wickham and, and 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 played. You know, good for years at Wickham as well, weren't it? Particularly, yeah. and so you know, and a lot of people. We've had a lot of the. A lot of guys who maybe have had like recently who have maybe had two or three appearances and then have dropped down a division or two to get have a prolonged career. Obviously, we had, we had like Lee Hodges on, we had Adam Newton, Daryl McMahon, all these guys had dropped down a division to to carry on playing. And it wasn't necessarily about, you know, I remember we had Hodgie on and he was saying, it, I just needed to be in the first team. I had that little taste. And I wanted to be in the first. So I didn't care what league, what club. And as you said, you know, it's not necessarily the team you support or whatever. It's when you're that team, you want to win. Yeah. And, yeah. and so him and Izzy and all these guys, it, it, the same thing happens to them all the time, man. Right. But it's but it's great that you do. And obviously then, unfortunately, you, know, you got injured, you know, yeah. to 2006, something like that. Then you got went into the music, man, and and here you are, you know, yeah, yeah. years later, man, still that's still right. banging out the tunes, man. So that's right, that's right. Have yeah, you played any? Have you played any? <laughs> I've, I've, you know, I've been listening to it since I knew you oh, came okay. back on. I might, I might put a few on, might get a few on the old stadium. We'll have a go. Yeah, man, find that's some good, good ones off time, man. That's good. That's good. Put some on half time, man. It's all good. <laughs> Love it. I get Love told it. off for taking requests, but you know. Oh really? Yeah. Oh I don't know. man. Or do it. What, what we'll, we'll do you like playing? Yeah, I like I like having it. I like I like doing stuff like that. Or, or you know, obviously there's a lot of there's a lot of like West Ham artists as well. You know, so um, okay. so you know we try and I try and put a few out because why not? It's West Ham, isn't it? And it's a West yeah. Ham thing, and you know, and and it's um, no, it's good. It's good. And as you said, now at the moment everyone's got a bit more creative. This Corona creativity sort of wave that's coming on, and you know, as you said, you're starting to release music again. So it's all cool, man. It's all cool. Absolutely. Um, right okay so as i said you're at the club for a few years yeah and you're training and playing we try and put together an 11 okay hammers 11 so that's the whole idea of the show really um of the players who um 
you, you, yeah, I mean, it's basically, we try and pick a four four two, but okay, and it doesn't have to be the best. It could be mm. your your mates, the ones you enjoy playing. It doesn't really matter. It's only a bit of fun. Yeah, a bit of fun. Well, some people take it really seriously. I had Colton yeah. Cole yesterday. Oh my god, it was it was agonising trying to get the team out of him. Really? Like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Who am I going to piss off now? Like, oh, it doesn't matter, <laughs> Colton. For God's sake. <laughs> so that's what we try and do because it's all a bit of fun it's all a bit yeah. of fun so yeah if we were going let's start in goal let's start in goal because i think that could be easiest i reckon for you yeah looking at the period you played with who would be in goal for the gavin 11 shaka his luck oh i love shaka badass, badass. Yeah. chilled out and he's so chilled man so chilled so good i could never get the ball past him in training of course, yeah, yeah. Because um, he's probably did the little one twos and with your Frank and yeah. I just, I just couldn't score past him. <laughs> I don't know how he just always managed to get down low. Oh, he's a dude, isn't he? Yeah. He's so cool. Honestly, we when we interviewed him, it was just like he was so cool as a person. But he he lives in the East Coast, um, okay. East Coast America. He works for ESPN oh, right. and stuff, doesn't he? Oh, and um, he. Yeah, it was he. Although he's so cool, his aircon had gone. It was about it was middle of June, and no New York around there. He's like so sweaty in it, and he was dripping, bless him. But he still was so cool. Oh, so bless cool. him! Yeah, and I love, and I love Shaka because because yeah. like when I cause I used to live in Loughton, and yeah. and they all lived in Loughton, and so on a Friday, this is why I think football's different than it was now compared then to now. On a Friday, Shaka, if they were playing a home game, he would do his Friday big shop. At the Safeways, do you know what I mean? And so with his really? wife, and so yeah. So I always used to work. I was young, so I used to work at Safeways. So I made sure I was working on a Friday about five o'clock after school, knowing that Shaka would be sir if West Ham were playing at home. And he, <laughs> yeah, that's it's so true. cool. Him that's and cool. Samasi Abu. Okay, they would both wow. do their shopping. But nowadays, they're just the money's in the game, isn't it? They all live in yeah. Canary Wharf and stuff, which is yeah, fair enough, man. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. But yeah, uh, yeah Shaka, wow. real dude. Nice real, real dude. Right, okay. <laughs> left back. Who be left back, Gav? Probably Scott Minto, I guess. Oh, we had Scott on the other day. Yeah? Yeah, he's a top boy, isn't he? I like yeah, Scott. He's a lovely guy. Lovely guy. Really, really, you know, like, honest and, like, yeah. And, yeah you know, really, yeah. Yes. Really yeah. good way of describing him, man. Scott yeah. Minto. Yeah, I like Scott Minto. Yeah. He's, um, he played a lot of games for us. A lot yeah, of games. And I, did. I didn't didn't realise how many games he really played for us until we interviewed him. And I went, oh, you know, but he did. He was there for a long time, man. And yeah. and um yeah, I mean you I mean you as you said, you came on, it was Liverpool, and you drew two all and da, da, da. he's I think his first game, I think he lost four nil and a couple of others. He, he had a real hard time at the beginning. And I think that oh. sort of se- cemented his legacy already at West Ham. You know what really? I mean? <laughs> despite the fact he was part of the side that was probably our, our you know i mean that season yeah the 98 99 season i think your season i think that was our best season ever in the premier league and yeah. so yeah but yeah scott minto wow. still bless him he's, he's still sort of yeah people don't yeah. think of him but he was oh, honestly i loved him love chatting yeah. to him every day yeah. right i put mince him uh yeah. let's let's go right back gavin who we get right back i'm gonna go with um adam newton Oh, Newt, he'll love that. He'll love that. And he's, yeah. There we go. I've already got it written down. Um, oh, I love Newt. Adam. Yeah, I like Newt. He's lovely, yeah. boiling. Yeah. yeah. I played thought... against him at Peterborough, I think. Oh, did you? When I was at Wickham, I think he was playing for Peterborough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah nice good. boy. Yeah. 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 And he was one of those ones who I think, oh, out of that crop, because obviously there was that crop who came through from the youth cup. Mm. And there's lots of them like Newts and, and Joe and Michael That's and right. Richie Garcia and Bertie and you know, there's loads Stephen Bywater they're all coming through and and, mm. and Newts was the one I was surprised never made it at West Ham because he was really? a really good right back you know really solid right back yeah. and um yeah yeah nice nice guy nice guy nice we had a really fast, good really fast yeah oh rapid rapid yeah, really fast <laughs> almost as fast as me almost yeah Almost, though. which is hard to do. Not, not, not just quite. Not quite. That's what I, like, man. I, like, I love the way you set your stall out, man. That's really cool. <laughs> he's all. He's quick. He's yeah. quick. But he's he's quick. no Gavin. So there we go. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. that's what i love man that's what i love no, yeah cool. although when he called when i interviewed him the other day he started calling me because he's a cab driver and he was calling me from his cab and oh, i was really? like don't call me and f- on the phone while you're driving surely that's like illegal <laughs> yeah said, don't crash Christ! Could you imagine that's crash? Oh, can you imagine the papers? Yeah, and right. it was currently it would be good promotion for the YouTube channel, though, wouldn't it? Thinking yes. about it, thinking yes. about it. Absolutely. Sorry, the miss. Sorry, the Newton household. But at the end of the day, you get might get the subs up, so it's all good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, okay. We'll put Adam at the right back. Center half. Who's your first center half, man? Mr. Ferdinand. Got to be the boy in it. Got to be the boy. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. cool. All day, all day, every day. Yeah. Stylish. Yeah. And yeah. a great career he's had since, and he, do you know what I mean? It's incredible. like incredible, incredible. Absolutely. He's one of those players, I think, who, who, when I still see him, I know he's, I know he played, you know, he's, he's most successful years at Man United and stuff like that. Mm. But you know, he still has a soft spot for West Ham. You can tell when he does the commentary. Really? Stuff. Yeah, he still <laughs> has a bit of a soft spot, and it's nice to hear that. You know, he's just. Yeah. Because obviously, you know, he came through the ranks, and obviously, yeah. he was in your played in your game as well. And yeah, yeah, yeah. As you said you were training with him all day, and no, he's yeah, the top boy. Yeah, he, he, he again could just so hard to get round. Yeah, so hard to get round. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it it so sounds hard. like you had a fucking awful time at training. No, camp. well, you no, still get I, I you couldn't I, get I, past. I, I didn't train. I didn't train with the first t- team all that often. Yeah. But when I did, I just was like, oh, I hope I'm with Rio's team because I just, <laughs> just don't want to have to just keep getting blocked. Yeah. <laughs> well, At least you're honest about it, Gavis. Yeah, man. Right? Yeah. Nothing else to do. Exactly. Right. Okay. We'll put Rio. Who's Rio going to partner then in that centre back position? Well, well. Let's, go, let's go with. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rogue. I'm gonna say Izzy Rickpin. Oh, Izzy, busting out a bit of Izzy. I love Izzy. I'm gonna go You're picking rogue. some right dudes, honestly. Izzy is an absolute. Uh, do you know what? He's a a lovely bloke. I think Izzy's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, he's a top man. Yeah, he, yeah, I, I, yeah. I remember he was young, but really good defender. Yeah, he was, and again, similar to Adam, I think. You know, I, and and we've had obviously we've had them both on, and and actually, actually, you've done quite well. You've had I've had four of the five people you've picked so far already on the channel, which is good because it means well, they're like doing well. We're doing all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not quite Rio yet, not quite Rio. He's a bit busy. I have asked, but he's a bit busy. <laughs> but I've had Anton, I've had his brother on, but yeah, okay. Um, but Izzy's another one of those players, as you said, who dropped out down the league and had a, like a fantastic career at Swansea mm. and and Scunthorpe as well, same as Hodges. And um, yeah. but he kept on getting injured just as he was getting going to break into the first team at West Ham. Right, right, right. Really shame, real shame. shame. He was a top yeah. guy. Yeah. Okay, he will love that, Izzy. He will love that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Okay, let's go into midfield then. Who's going to go? Who's going to go left wing on the left side? So. Um, Forgive me, but would it not be possible for us to do a four three three? We can do a four three three. We can do a for, for you, Gav. I'll do a four three three. I appreciate. We that. can do a four three. Uh, yeah, that's much, just too the much type of guy I am. Front. <laughs> it's too much sauce to leave out up front. I it. love it. I love it. We got to keep it saucy. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Right. So, who's your first one of the three then in the midfield? All right. So I go Joe Cole in the left. Or. Oh. What a what a what a baller! Too good, <laughs> too good, too good. I mean, yeah. he he's he's one of those guys. I think he's one of those guys. When you when you talk about West Ham at that time, obviously he was he was special. He was a special player. Yeah. Um, and I mean, fingers crossed, he's coming on soon. And if he does, um, I'd love to ask him about just playing for West Ham at that time because, you know, for him, I mean, we knew about him when he was. 12 yeah 12 i reckon everyone and you know, most people knew about joe cole and you know and it's like the, the pressure it doesn't yeah. matter you know some people say oh, he, he probably said oh, i wasn't pressured you must have felt pressure mm. you must have felt pressure because just think. coming in i mean you i mean as a special when I yeah, signed. yeah i mean when you signed as well yeah when out when i signed he he had glandular fever and was coming back 
And even then I was like, wow, he's damn good. <laughs> like I used to see him running around the training. Yeah. Ground. And, and and just doing his own thing, not not really training. Mm. Then he started training, and I was like, oh, "Wow, he's really good." <laughs> then he got into his stride, and I was like, oh, "He's really really good." <laughs> and then he broke into the first team. And I was like, "Oh, he's really 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 good." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think when I signed. Um, I didn't realize the pressure until I got injured. I got injured and yeah. it was like, you, you're gonna, you, you, when you're back, when you're and I, and I came back and I just wasn't, I just couldn't keep up. It was just quick and yeah. I was already like, and I'm quick and I was- Well, we know you're, you're, you're quicker than Adam Newton, we know that. Yeah, I'm quicker than Adam Newton. Yeah. And, uh, and I remember thinking like, how comes I'm not as quick as I normally am? But what it yeah. was, it just, Everybody were every everybody else was fitter and as quick as me. Yeah, yeah. If I'm honest. Yeah. Um, so it was like I, my fitness couldn't it, it could I couldn't compete with you the fitness. Get up, yeah. And that was a constant yo yo for me, like coming back from injury and then off the pace. So just felt like what what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Just probably needed to get a little bit more sort of rhythm in terms of because i had a bad injury with my groin as well mm. had, it, had the uh surgery and then yeah it was just like the speed was, you know that i can imagine also with as you said for someone like yourselves who relied on you know your your biggest attribute was your speed as well yeah, yeah. and 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 if you're if you if you feel like you know it's almost like you've got you know like one leg off because that's yeah. that's your main that's the main yeah. focus is it's like nowadays you look at someone like Mikhail Antonio and, and he is so quick and, but, and, and, and muscular, but his hamstrings are like jelly bless him. So he yeah. gets three or four games going and then he'll do his hamstring out. And we know that's going to happen. So it's almost like you're not playing him for these games or he, he like the other day against wolves, he, he played like 35 minutes and then went off. It's like, you know, it's just difficult trying to manage someone who's, main speed main 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 sort of attribute is is curtailed a little bit same as you were as you said with your injury you could never really got back to that level again 100 percent, 100 percent, yeah 100 percent. yeah okay so we'll put joe in yeah yeah <laughs> who's next in that midfield free right so we're gonna go with frank lampard yes mr lampard yeah Excellent. good old frank these guys when we get when we interview players and they talk about frank uh, they always talk about how like he would always be at training for you know two hours afterwards and would just be like the model professional and you know as a young lad and training loads and he must have been half of him you know half of joe in terms of joe being yeah the sort of the next gaza but frank obviously he's, his uncle's the manager his dad's the coach as well he had a bit yeah. of a bit of stick didn't he old frank Bit of stick. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see the stick. To, um, no, while I was yeah. there, but um, yeah, he was always doing extra. Yeah, just always, mm -hmm. and I didn't get it until I saw him playing for England. I was like, right, you can see it's all added up, you know, yeah, all added yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally get that. Okay, we'll put Coley in, we'll put Frank in. Who's going to be the last one of that trio, that saucy trio in the middle? Yeah, it would be Mr. Carrick. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, uh, you're right, that is saucy. Yeah, it's proper sauce. <laughs> Hot. I mean, yeah, I mean, that is, that is proper, like, you know, pr well, probably black sauce Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> that Vesuvius one. Do you have a Vesuvius one? Oh my god! That's what it is. I've had Nando's for a while, but I will definitely order the black one, the black sauce. Hornchurch is a good delivery, man. Nando's, <laughs> I must admit, is that's the one benefit. Nando's delivery at Hornchurch is very, very good. But yeah, Michael Carrick, very Michael saucy Carrick. player, tremendous, like yeah, just so good picking his passes. Amazing. He's He's one of those players, right? Where I think every time, uh, again, he's he, he, if you said like that that era, the, the young players, it will be Rio Ferdinand, Joe Cole, Frank Lampard. Carrick will always be probably the fourth or fifth person mentioned. Yeah. Arguably, 
in my opinion, he should be first because I think every time that he left the club, when he left West Ham, never the same. Spurs, never the same. Man United, never the same. And no one knew why, but it's all because Carrick, as you said, was just, just did stuff which no one would appreciate unless yeah. you were in the game or he was in your team. He reminds and me of Skulls. Yes. Yeah. In the heyday, just really understated, but underrated. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Should yeah. have had a hell of a lot more England appearances than he did. Yeah. Um, I believe, again, it was that era where you had, you had Joe Cole, you had Paul Scholes, you had Gerard, you had Lampard, you, you know, you had like some great players in front of him as well. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the trouble, yeah. isn't it? It always happens <laughs> with, with those. It always happens with West Ham players more than ever, it seems. We always like, you know, Billy Bond never played for England and Julian Dix and these players never played for England. Mm. Because you know they got they got West Ham badge and their shirt. Mark Noble, Mark Noble's never played for England. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's go for the front three. Who's the first one of the front three? Then Gav. I'm going to go Defoe. Jermaine Defoe. Jermaine Defoe, breathtaking yeah. player, breathtaking. Phenomenal finisher. Everyone we we talked to about. Yeah, unbelievable. I remember one training um, session. You know. 3.30 on Thursday Thursday afternoon, pissing down with rain at the far back of the training ground. Everyone's kind of like, I'm over this. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going, sort of thing. Windy, cold, wet, raining. Anyway, the ball, we're doing like crossing and shooting. You know, you know, play it in, one, two, yep. send it out wide, cross. So anyway, Jermaine's on, on, up for his, you know, his turn. And he sent the ball out wide and it's book, book, back. The ball's coming in. He swiveled overhead kick straight into the, like, top left-hand corner. Yeah. Back to goal, edge of the box. Unbelievable, like, situation to <laughs> witness. You know, you're just like, he shouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he should he should not be on this training pitch right now. That that overhead kick, I was like, yeah, he's going to be one of Special. the one of the great strikers in the UK because that that he shouldn't have done that. It should it should have been that great. And I've seen him do it since in real life, like real competitive matches, Premiership matches. And I just thought, yeah, he was always doing that. Yeah. And he, I mean, as you said, he's still banging them in now for Rangers. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 38 now, or whatever he's now. So, yeah. fair play to him. You know, he's, yeah, he's, he's a born striker, born finisher. Uh, yeah. You can't teach that. No. Okay, so put Defoe in. Who's the next one? The Canio. Oh, yeah. You've got to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to put him in, don't you? you got, I mean, to be honest, you got to put him in. You have to. Just have to, innit? You can't not. Yeah, you can't not. What was he? What was he like around the around the training ground when you we used to see him he around was, and stuff? He was really cool. I mean, you know, he was really friendly, really uh, pleasant to be around. Um, just very funny and super gifted, like just passionate. You know, yeah. interesting character. Yes. An yeah. interesting character, yeah. I think that's a good way to describe it. An interesting character, but as you said, you know, yeah, never took the... life too seriously. No, yeah, and that's and that's half the that's half the battle. I think you know what I mean. I think you know he couldn't take well, he couldn't take himself too seriously at times as well. And he came in, and I think you know he came in. And he was, you know, particularly as you, you mentioned people like Ruddock and people like that, and, and yeah. monks and those type of players. And he, you know, he obviously came in, and he was obviously. Italian, he, he looked after himself, he did all the diets and stuff like that. So I think for a few of them, I think he would probably ruffled a few feathers, I think, internally. Yeah. Um I yeah. mean we've had Harry I mean, we had Harry on and we spoke about, you know, how do you manage Paolo? He said I didn't didn't. He couldn't, he couldn't manage him. You know, he couldn't tell him to do something. He wouldn't if he didn't want to do it, he wouldn't do it. And uh that's why I think fans loved him, because then they knew he was this sort of maverick. Yeah, it was Maverick player, yeah. and you know, and he was just so much fun to watch. As a, and again, you know, we talk about football changing. You know, you, you, as you said, you got people like Razor, Ian Wright, Decanio. You don't get these characters anymore in the game. You know, it's football's very professional, and you know, like it's all, 
you know uber professional and so they were relatable then and they were good you know as i said yeah. I, I love that period that love yeah. man yeah right okay so we've got decanio we've got defoe we were get we're getting we're getting nando's hot sauce here right we're getting frank's hot sauce who's the last one um it wouldn't be right if i didn't include my boyhood hero ian wright oh yeah, yeah that is proper sauce yeah that's a nice that's a nice free that is proper proper nice situation to be in You've got a bit <laughs> of everything yeah you have man and and again like as you said, you know, he was your boyhood hero and, and now you're turning up and he, and he's there. Yeah. And he's there. Exactly. exactly. Surreal. Was it just, yeah, it must have just been like absolutely surreal. Your boyhood hero's there and, you know, <laughs> and you get to yeah, trade with I him most days. It's funny because um, when I first signed, I scored like a hat-trick in the, in the youth team. Yeah. And then I scored another hat-trick in the youth team uh, in the game after. The, the subsequent game yeah then i scored one goal and i think it got around you know people was like oh he, he's just signed and he scored seven goals in three games <laughs> um so he'd see me in the in the like in the um in the corridors and say oh you're right gab how many did you score yeah how many did you score today last you know last game when we were when he'd hear we were playing a game and i was like oh i scored I scored three today. Like, well, <laughs> oh, brilliant. I scored one today. So, oh, so he would out. He would always he always ask me how many. Just yeah, scored? which I thought was really cool because it was kind of like, wow, you're asking me how much I scored. <laughs> yeah, it's like you. How many goals did you, you score in your <laughs> life, man? And you're asking me. I know. I totally get that, man. You know what I mean. Um, that must have that must have made you make you feel good that he took the time to do, and that's what we get quite a lot out of those sort of the the, pro, the more experienced pros took time out to talk to and, and to interact with you guys, and that must feel you must have felt like Mr. Big Bollocks having Ian Wright ask you how many goals you scored that day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, he he was another never just never took anything too seriously. Yeah, and it just helps you to relax a bit more. Um, which at that level is quite important. <laughs> yeah. You know. God, yeah. God, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, well, let me just, let me, let me bring out this saucy team. There, there it is. Look at that. Oh, I'll tell you what. Ooh. Big six, greedy six, no problem. Champions League. And you've got like, it, basically you've got the England midfield pretty much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you've yes. got England centre back. You know, you've got, you've got Ian Wright, England legend. Jermaine Defoe, yeah, you've probably got about half a dozen internationals there, Gav, without even realising it, my man. Yeah, yeah it's brilliant. It's <laughs> How we never won nothing, I don't know with that team. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy when you think about it. Yeah, oh, it's really. really like oh, the, it's good, man. the middle, the middle of the the um the spine of the teams, incredible. Oh yeah, oh there's a, that's a spine, oh, that's a spine oh, half in it. Right, Ferdinand. Oh. Yes, yeah, imagine lot. with you on the bench coming on as well. Yeah, me on the bench coming on. Though I reckon I could probably give Minto a run for his money. Would you? Would you fancy yourself as a bit of a left back then? Yeah, because I've I've got vicious in my old age. <laughs> I just like the idea of getting into a little tussle. Oh, and a little tussle with a little little white winger. Little rough rumble, yeah, yeah, just <laughs> yeah, just just keep your yeah. elbows out, man. It's all good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Right. Gav, man, I don't want to take you for much too long. Thanks, man. It's been really lovely chatting to you. Lovely. Really, really yeah. lovely, man. Um, I, you know, I know you're really busy and, and you're very tired. I don't want to take a more. I want you to get some sleep, man. I want you to get some sleep. <laughs> We've got a bank holiday yeah. weekend, and I want you to get some sleep. Um, <laughs> you can't go anywhere. You can't go anywhere. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing, isn't it? That's true. <laughs> so, that's thank true. you, man. And obviously, yeah. Thank you to everyone for watching as well. Um, give it a like, give it a share, give it a subscribe. And for myself and from Gav, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Wash those hands. Get those jabs. I don't think you've had your jab yet, have you, Gav? You can't have had it yet. You're too young. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait a little while for me. You're the next You're the next batch, aren't you? I'm on the I next. You're the next. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're, you're not old enough or fat enough. That's the trouble. <laughs> I'm having my second one. That's under oh, here. Hey. I, under here that's what i mean you know i'm i'm 40 this year i know you're new to it, but it's under here the lockdown body was not what it was let's be honest and so uh but i've, I've got my second jab next week so i'm done i'll really? be on the beach i'll be on the beach you know all you fit guys will be still there waiting to go i'll be done yeah, my passport no. already man 
Oh, I envy you. I envy you, man. I envy you. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we'll be all done. Anyway, mate, take care. Stay safe. Come on, you irons, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Blessings. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay.